Right, we're on. Got a scenario here. Ball above my feet. You can see it sloping top to bottom there. This was a request from one of my um, subscribers. If you've got any requests, please leave them in the comments below. And welcome to Pula Golf Resort. Ball above the feet is today's topic. Let's crack on. So I've got an awkward lie here. The ball is above my feet, so it's tricky. We go to the range, we practice on the range. Perfectly flat surface, great lie every time. Why do we do that? Do you ever practice from the semi-rough? Liar, you do not. <laughs> If you get a chance, practice from all different lies. This is the only way you learn golf. We don't play on flat surfaces all the time. Now, red flag, club on line, all good. Play my normal shot. I will miss this to the left and probably hit it heavy. I have to accommodate for the lie. Now the golf ball is closer to me because of the angle of the ground. If that's level and the club heads the golf ball, it's now closer to me. So I have to make the club a little bit shorter to accommodate for that, so choking down on the club slightly. Also, there's a thing called face aim tilt. Boom. So face aim tilt, my leading edge is pointing towards target. If I lift the club up, it now points to the right, but it still looks as though leading edge is pointing towards target. Ball above the feet, it's now pointing left. So on this shot here, if I put leading edge towards my intended target there, and I place this on here, you can see clearly it's actually pointing left of where I want the, the shot to go. So in order for me to get the ball or the club face in line with target, I have to square it round there. So now it looks as though, as I address that ball, it looks to me as though the face is open or pointing to the right, but actually face aim tilt tells me it's pointing square to target. So I have to aim to the right of my intended target to play this shot. So I have to aim right with the club face. Now, I'm also going to swing, because the ball's closer to me, gripping down, I'm going to swing flat or more around my body. Imagine the ball was there, it'd be a very, very flat swing. I have to then accommodate for that. So what does that mean? It means I'm going to hit the ground a little bit earlier. It also means the ball curvature is going to be from right to left. So I have to aim even further to the right to play this shot because it's going to curve right to left. And these are all things you learn from practice. Going out there, on the course, on your own at night, drop a couple of balls in awkward lies and just practice these things. So I've got 168 yards. The ball will probably go a little bit further as well because of the right to left curvature. I'm going to aim right of the tree to the right of the pin. So over the top of that slope there. You can see how far to the right I'm actually aiming. My ball position goes further back because my flatter swing is going to have a shallower angle of attack, so I'll hit the ground first, and I'm gripping down the golf club. So there's lots of hidden factors there. So I'm aiming way too far right, my ball is way too far back, and I'm gripping way too far down, and I'm going to swing way too flat. <laughs> but that's what I have to do to accommodate the slope. Okay, thinned it a little bit, look at it curving right to left and it's now kicked left and running across the front of the green. Okay, strike was not great. But look at the slope we're on. Strike was poor, strike was pretty poor, but do you know, it was an awkward lie. I'm now sitting about 25, 30 feet from the hole. It's good enough. We need to praise ourselves for the good enough ones, you know. A great shot, what is a great shot? Well, you've hold it, it's not gonna happen. What's a bad shot? Well, you can't find it, or it's a lost ball, or it's out of bounds, so that's not really gonna happen either. A good shot is what you're meant to do. One that you get away with is good enough. So again, ball position further back, gripping down the handle, flat swing, not deliberately, but the slope's dictating that, and I'm aiming right to allow for this. Again, huge curve right to left. A little bit clean again, but landing on the green and stopping. So yeah, strike's a bit clean, a bit funky. It's all right. Try again. I don't have to compress this. I've hit green twice. Aiming right now, my feet are open. If I was a square aim, my Eureka golf swing, I'm always feet open, so that would be square aim. My feet are open. So again, aiming out to the right. 
Again, the all curve, massive curve to the left because of the slope. And that one's just short. So ball position, slightly further back. Club face points to the right of your intended target. Further right than you would think. So well right of your target. The severity of the slope dictates how far right. Up there, you need to aim over here. A little bit up, you don't have to aim nearly as far to the right. But the coverture's always going to be right to left because of that flat swing. Coming in there, flat swing. So aim to the right. Well right, depending on the severity of the slope. Grip down. Ball position further back. And then just take your normal swing. Don't fight against it. Just play with the slope. If the ball is below your feet, opposite. Ball is below your feet, the club face points to the right. So we need to aim further left. The handle of the club is going to be higher, so we're going to swing steeper. So we're going to be more out to in, so it's going to curve left to right. And of course you make the club a little, club a little bit longer by gripping towards the end with ball position forward. So it's the opposite for ball below the feet. Ball above the feet is a good way to start. If you slice, if you're a slicer, get lies where the ball's above your feet. That's a better strike. Get lies with the ball above your feet. And then from there, that was good. Then from there, you'll move path to more into out in a flatter plane. So it can help you. It's interesting that how ball above the feet can help you with something else. You know, you've got a slice, then get the ball above your feet. <laughs> Balls like that, it'll educate you to swing on a flatter plane. More into out, right to left ball flight. So there you go, that's how you play that shot. Thank you very much for the request. If you have any requests, please just leave a message in the description below or in the comments below, that'd be fantastic. Also subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Hit the bell notification for instant notifications of all my videos. And of course the thumbs up button, shares it around YouTube. The algorithm for some reason seems to like that. And that makes it all worthwhile for me. So from Pula Golf Resort, I'll see you in my next video.